Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. The VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price. Do you use this indicator? You might want to consider it, at least consider adding it to your arsenal as a trader or investor. It can be very powerful. No guarantees, it does not always work, but I just want to give you some ideas if you're going to try to trade it. I'm using tradingview.com right now. I want to give them credit for their charts. And this is the Apple stock five minute candlestick chart. Each of these candles represents five minutes of price action. But what I'm going to say today could be adjusted to various time frames one minute candles, two, three, five minute candles, daily candles. If you're more of a swing trader, long term type of trader, whatever you use, these could be applied. But again, no guarantees. This does not always work. So have an exit strategy such as a stop loss or something like that. Okay, so let's say you're at the, you know, this is like pre-market stuff, and let's say it's the beginning of the trading day. You know, what you could do if you want to is just avoid the first hour. There's nothing wrong with doing that, whatever indicator indicator you're using. Uh, and you can see this with the VWAP. I mean, you know, you got the first, uh, these are five-minute candles. That first hour is just craziness. You can't necessarily do things with it, although some people can, and that's okay too. There are strategies you can use with the first half hour, first 15 minutes, first hour of the day, that's totally fine. But if you don't like the volatility, you don't like that early uh, craziness of the day, you can totally skip that, okay? Because look how hard it is to predict what's going on uh, with the VWAP. It's above it, suddenly it's below it, suddenly it's above it, what do you do with that? But then you start to see, after that first hour or so, you start to see the candles, at least in this example, really respecting the uh, the VWAP, volume weighted average price line here, okay? And that's the blue line. Uh, so notice that uh, it attempted a bounce, came back down, rested upon that VWAP line so nicely. I mean, it did it here, rest, it rested nicely here, came up a little bit, came back, and you see it at the VWAP deciding what to do, and you got that beautiful hammer candle, okay, uh, where you got the small body, but the long lower wick or shadow here, that is a great sign. What I like to do is I like to look for a confirmation candle, and this is a really good confirmation candle. Uh, green, almost a marrow bozu, where it just went up, up, up throughout almost the entire five minutes here, almost the entire period. Uh, the price action was just going up. Anywhere within that candle, I might have considered uh, buying and I would have done pretty well. Got a nice burst after that, okay? Uh, then it came down to the VWAP again and you had a, a hammer candle here, but not really a confirmation. And so I probably would have stayed out of it and then that would have been a good decision because then it just uh, fell <laughs> really hard after that, okay? So, you know, you're looking for maybe support, maybe a hammer candle or other bullish type of candle, and then some sort of confirmation and it could really take off after that. It doesn't always work, but it's not a good sign when you don't get that confirmation and it just starts to go down. That's a great time to consider getting out or just staying out if you weren't involved before. Here's another example. Beginning of the trading day, Apple stock, five minute candles, and just that first hour, just craziness. What do you do with this? How do you even trade that? Just uh, you know, below the VWAP, above, below, above. What do you do with that, okay? So then when that craziness subsides after that first hour or so, then it starts to respect it once again. You know, it's much calmer. Uh, you don't have that burst of volatility in the beginning of the day. And so look at that. It, it rested gently on that VWAP line, hammer candle, and then boom, right? Actually, I should say hammer candle followed by a nice confirmation candle. And then boom, <laughs> that's what I should have said, right? And it really just did great throughout the rest of the day. Uh, and then didn't come back to the VWAP at all uh, until you know later in the day, but that was you know then after hours action. And then you get the volume going way down after hours. You might not want to even try to uh, you know trade the VWAP after hours because uh, not so many traders, it may be harder to predict, 
volume isn't so great usually and so uh, you know you might want to stay within the trading day but not necessarily when it's really volatile in the early morning all right so hopefully this was helpful to you the vo the vwap uh, really can be powerful because it's it's not just about price action it's also about volume and so it takes these things into consideration whereas a lot of other indicators don't even consider volume and so you can get low volume head fakes in there and this tries to avoid them it's not perfect but it's something you can add to your toolbox as a trader or as an investor so if you appreciate this video please give it a thumbs up on youtube and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and you've got more videos coming up soon, so stick around. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you again very soon.